There is no doubt that Iron Man is just a cool guy, and Robert Downey Jr. is the perfect person to play the hero because he's similar to him in many ways in the real world. But what makes Iron Man so cool, and can you learn to be more like him? Well in this video I want to show you the top 3 things that I think makes this character ice cold. guys, I'm Fresh and I stream on Twitch. Last week I asked chat if they would rather be friends with Iron Man or Captain America. The overwhelming majority said Iron Man because he just seems like a cool guy who would show him a good time. But what makes him seem like that? Let's look at some clips to find out. The first reason Iron Man comes across as so cool is his posture and body language. He makes people work for his attention. As you can see here at the party scene, he is approached by Agent Coulson. Notice how Tony Stark constantly makes it seem like his attention is very much elsewhere. The onus is on Coulson to impress him, to gain his attention back. You can see similar mannerisms in Robert Downey Jr. on this red carpet interview. We can even tell through his sunglasses that he's constantly the person out of the three who needs to be engaged the other two need to work to keep his attention. This works for RDJ and Tony Stark because he knows when it's appropriate to do this. Not being present can sometimes be interpreted as rude or even a sign that you're searching for a cooler person in the room to engage with. It's not something to practice daily, but Stark makes it work when he knows all eyes are on him. The second reason why Tony Stark is just the coolest guy on the planet is in his delivery. He'll often throw out information as if it's no big deal to him, when for other normal people, it really should be. Take this next scene for example. This is one of the first scenes in the first Iron Man movie, so we're really getting to know the characters and learning a lot about them. His composure when answering a question that would bring at least a smug smile from most guys shows them that this is no big deal for him and that nothing phases Tony Stark. Sir, I, I have a question to ask. Yes, please. Is it true you went 12 for 12 with last year's Maxim cover models? That is an excellent question. Yes and no. March and I had a scheduling conflict, but fortunately the Christmas cover was twins. Anything else? You're kidding me with the hand up, right? Similarly, in this scene, Stark is asking Pepper Potts to essentially reach into his chest cavity and perform some minor heart surgery. He plays off the whole thing like it's a big joke and no big deal, while she goes between panic and determination, showing that he can be cool in any situation. Is it too much of a problem to ask? Because I'm, I'm. Okay, okay. I really need your help here. Okay. Oh, 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 oh. there's pus. It's not pus. It's an inorganic <laughs> plasmic discharge. It's from the device, not from my body. It smells. Yeah, it does. The copper wire. The copper wire. You okay. got it. I got it. Okay, got you it. got it. Now don't let it touch. Ah, eyes, eyes. When you're sorry, coming up, that's what sorry, I was sorry, trying to say before. Okay, now make sure that when you pull it out, you don't pull out. The, there's a magnet at the end of it. That was it. You just pulled out. Okay. Oh God. I was okay. not expecting. What don't do put I it do? back in. What don't do put I... it back in. What's wrong? Oh, nothing. I'm just going into cardiac arrest because you what? yanked. What? I thought out you said this was like safe. Out lure. We gotta hurry. Take this. Take this. Okay. We gotta switch it really quick. Okay. okay. Tony. What? It's gonna be okay. Is okay. It? It's gonna be okay. I I am gonna make this okay. Hope. Okay. You're gonna attach that okay. to the base plate and make sure. You... Ah. Yeah. Is that so hard? That was fun, right? Oh, I got it, I got it. Nice. Number three, classic so, uh, Tony Coulson Stark joke. Shield is on the line. I'm not in. I'm actually out. I'm afraid my protocols are being overridden. Uh, Mr. Stark, we need to talk. You have reached the life model decoy of Tony Stark. Please leave a message. This is urgent. Then leave it urgently. Security breach. It's on you. Mr. Stark? Bill, come in. Bill? I can't stay. Uh, his first name is Agent. Come on in. We're celebrating. Which is why he can't stay. We need you to look this over as soon as possible. I don't like being handed That's things. That's because I love to be handed things. So let's trade. You listen well, brother. I do. I'm listening. Do not touch me again. Then don't take my stuff. You have no idea what you're dealing with. Uh, Shakespeare in the park? Doth mother know you wear as her drapes? 
Where would I be if I didn't leave in a few good Iron Man quips? One of the most enjoyable things about the Avengers is the sarcastic humour that Stark often exhibits. I love this scene for example, because he's clearly not in control of the situation with Thor holding him up by the neck, but he manages to play it down and even belittle Thor with a quip about using his words. Ultron could have assimilated Jarvis. This isn't strategy, this is rage. Whoa, whoa, whoa. It's going around. Come on, use your words, buddy. I have more than enough words to describe you, Stark. There you go. If you want to come across as a cool guy, remember Tony Stark's three tricks. Make people want to impress you with your body language. Don't get flustered or lose your cool in your delivery and learn some good sarcastic quips. I'll probably do some more of these videos. I really enjoy learning about characters and watching how they act. So come visit me on Twitch or you can leave a comment and let me know which characters I should do next. See you around.